Bat? Dot? Here you are. You have a visitor. This young man was concerned about your welfare. As you can see, Bat and Dot aren't prisoners. They're our guests. They can leave any time they want. Is that true? We're being treated very well, Jimmy. When the girls first stepped foot in our house, they were malnourished, both body and soul. A daily regimen of vitamins and foie gras brought the pink back to their pallor. Bed, Dot, I know this seems like the life of Riley now, but trust me, this is no place for you. Because to them, you're nothing more than a curiosity. A freak to gawk at. So what do you want us to do, go back to the show? Well, how is that any different? Because you'd have a whole community of people to protect you. Why would we harm a hair on their heads? We paid good money for these girls. Mother's right. Don't listen to a word. Everything he says is a lie. Jimmy, you told us you saved those kids from the killer clown. It was Dandy. He was there when you were unconscious. He's the real hero. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! wondered how this trick was done, haven't you? Bet. Dot? You have to come with me. Now. You don't give the orders in this house. Dot, I know you have mixed feelings. You're thinking of getting surgery, which I'll never allow. Because you never cut a girl in half, would you, Dandy? Shut up! Stop trying to ruin everything! How do you know, Dandy? About the surgery? I told you there will be no secrets between us. You read my diary. I want to leave. She can't leave without Bet. We're in love. And love trumps everything. Well, your mother said the girls could go anytime they want. Let's let them decide. Bet. I know you love me. Tell them. You want to stay and live forever in luxury. <laughs> There's something wrong with Dandy, and you know it. I'm sorry. But I choose my sister. Always. We have to go.